Hi guys, welcome to the computer graphics lecture series with OpenGL. Uh, today we will study the primary function uh, Reline. In the last lecture series we have studied about the point and pixel and how to set the environment of the computer graphics. Everything we have discussed. Today we will study about the line function and different operation with the line function. For this purpose, base code is given to the link, copy the code and go to new project, select visual C++ empty project, name of the project, suppose that sun1 or line1, whatever the name you want to give, you can give. Now add the new item, select the C++ file, name the project file sun1 paste the code here uh, before starting uh, the project I want to make something comment because this we will discuss later this time we will study only how to draw the line and when we, while we are drawing the line we are using uh, this function in the open GL we are having these routines GL begin GL lines GL vertex to I X start Y start GL vertex to I X end Y end I stand for the integer and X start and Y start the two end points of the line to draw a line we need minimum two end points otherwise we cannot draw the line and we are using another function GL line width to increase or decrease the width of the line This is our main function. Other function we have already discussed. The base code is almost same. If you want to discuss, uh, study about the functions, name, what are the functions and what is the work, you can go to the first or second le video lecture series where we have discussed all the functions and their operation. Here our target is GL line width, GL begin, GL line. This is our main function to draw a line. Now we want to draw the line, we will give the line code, suppose that 50 and y start value 50 x in 400 and y end 400. This we have set draw the line, but in Visual Studio to work with OpenGL we need to set some external dependencies we know them very well go to the properties go to the CC++ file general go to edit button this thing we have already discussed in the first lecture series glue and glut go to free glut include select folder same thing for the glue Include, select, ok. Now go for linker, additional library directories. This time we will select for the library folder. Glue and glut. This file you can download. Glue and glut folder from the internet. If you want the link, in the first lecture series the link is given for glue and glut can download glue and glut from there now for the input right here free glut dot lib glue 32 dot lib ok apply the dependencies click on ok still one thing is remaining that is we need to copy these two files free glut DLL and glue32 DLL file to execute the program go again to the project right click go to the second last option open folder in Windows Explorer paste it here you can paste these two files to the system folder also system32 but most of the time due to security reason the system it is not working so better to place at this location only 
now environment is set everything is set we can start for the debugging something is missing because we have make this one comment idle function we have make comment so no need to call this function give the color name 1.0 for the green color I don't want the green color I want only red color 0.0 you uh, got the line we can perform different operation you can draw the line parallel to the x-axis you can draw the parallel to the y-axis different operation you can perform from here now uh, we want to draw a random color sun from the line function only uh, for this purpose we need to uncomment this file this code actually uh, we want a sun with a random color for that purpose we want the center of the line center of the sun to the center of the screen so our screen size is actually uh, 640 and 480 so center of the screen should be 320 and 240 here we have given axis start y start x and y n and we are calling blood post redisplay function what is this function it will hold the previous output on the screen and this glut idle function it will recall the this function idle function from the code so we need to change one thing uh, more here that is we want random color so we want to give the value of RGB with variable names so each and every time we will get the new color here X start X start and this one is Y start this one is X end Y end so in this one if you will see we are providing the value of X uh, and Y that is a start and end points with the random values axis start 320 240 because we want the center of the uh, sun and uh, the end is actually random you can give the random values uh, directly you can call the random function without 640 480 uh, but in that case it will go beyond the screen and it will not display on the screen also so to avoid that thing we are uh, merging all the points focusing only to the 640 and 480 this is the RGB red green and blue we are calling the random function modulus 9 and then it is divided by 9 so the value of R G and B will be uh, in between 0.0, .0 to 1.0 now everything is set we want to call the function start debugging for sun this is our output that is the center of the uh, sun or the center of the line is at this point for each and every time when it is generating the new line the starting point is this one and the end point is actually maximum it is in 640 in the horizontal direction and 480 in the vertical direction this is for the random color if you want to change the color want to fix the color we can fix the color also from here you can fix the color from this function RGB you can give suppose that you want red color you can give 1.0 and 
green and blue you can set to zero now another operation uh, suppose that we want output in the triangular format that is 320 and 240 and the x end i want in the vertical direction x end i want zero and y end it is from y from zero to up to 480 we want variable values so the triangle uh, what will be the output you can see the output from here this is the output we change only one value and the output is changed in this direction uh, now I want to give for the y n what will be the output for this one see we have we did only a little change here this is the output for us I want in the another side that is x int I want to give six forty. What will be the output? You can see the output. Very little bit manipulation, but the triangle is changing, the parameter is changing. So multiple operation you can perform with the help of line function only. This is the line function. If you will see from the one function only we have uh, we get different outputs from the line function with little bit operation. This random function it is defined inside the std library dot h. So thank you for watching the video. If you want to download the code, base code, you can download from the description. The link is given. Uh, please subscribe the channel for more videos. And thank you once again for watching the channel.